need to do. Do it now! Um, so what was your reaction to the trailer? Oh, it's, it was amazing. I mean, I think everyone's been anticipating this for a couple of years now because everyone's been, been teased about it uh, since last year and the year before. So it's kind of cool to unveil it here as well as being with players that have been waiting for this for, for years to come out. So it was a great experience. And also, you know, we played motion capture orcs. We didn't get to see the fully rented out characters until, until now. And you see in the, the detail work and just the, the, the way they made the orcs so human in the way. Um, it's so amazing, like the eyes, the moisture in the eyes, the, the emotions that we acted and were carried across through the character are all there, and so there's nothing to worry about whatsoever. What can you tell me about your character? Um, Goldan, you know, everyone thinks of him as being the most evil of all orcs, but I honestly think, maybe because I played him, that I feel that, you know, he's doing what he thinks he needs to do to ensure the survival of his race. And, you know, he may be using methods that other orcs don't believe in, like the fell magic and all that. But he believes that without that, there's no other way that he can save these people. To get them from Draenor to Azeroth is a mission that he needs to do, otherwise they're all going to die. A character like uh, Duratan, Duratar is, um, it, he sort of doesn't feel that the humans are enemies. But how does, how does Gul'dan feel about the humans? Um, he doesn't care. I think he thinks that the humans are um, fuel for the fell. I mean, they're, they're his food. And he's going to use them, and he finds them as lower beings even than what they are. Um, I think Duratan finds the commonalities in their warrior spirits, and that's why he's able to find that connection with them. But I think Gul'dan, he, he could care less what happens to humans. <laughs> yeah. um, also, you know, there's, there's other big fran uh, fantasy franchises out there. There's like Lord of the Rings, there's Game of Thrones, like on TV. Uh, so how does like, Warcraft like, feel different from those for you? Well, I think obviously it's different because you have a very, very huge built-in audience from this, right? You know, with Game of Thrones, a lot of people read the books, but not everyone until the series started to come out. But with this, you have people who have very strong views and very um, specific views about what the story should be and how these characters should be played out. So there's an extra kind of pressure for us to make sure that we do it right. You know? uh, so yeah, have you ever played the game? No, I haven't. My wife is a player, and she's actually very instrumental in why I took on this role, because uh, when the audition came about, I was in the middle of um, taking a year off of work because we just had a baby, and I promised her that that's what I would be doing. Um, and then I told her, I look, babe, I have an audition. And she goes, you promised me you wouldn't be working. I go, but it's Warcraft. And she's like, oh my god, you got to do it. Um, and so she was there on set. She would come and visit, and she was geeking the hell out. Like, So last question, um, your, your wife is obviously a big fan. I'm sure you've told her some stuff about the movie. Is she excited from what you've told her? Um, yeah, she's very, very excited. In fact, we've actually seen uh, a, a pretty completed version of it already, and she was stoked. I mean, very stoked. Because for me, I'm the movie guy. I want to make sure the story and the character is portrayed correctly, but she's the gamer, so we needed both checks of approval. And I looked at her as soon as we were done. I'm like, was that cool or not? And she's like, that was freaking amazing. So I knew, I think the gamers are going to be loving it.